This is Marciano Stadium, the home of the Brockton Boxers. And tonight, the Brockton Boxers will be facing the Dartmouth Indians. In the words of the great Keith Jackson, oh, Nelly, we got ourselves a bond burner. I'm the Red Toe back for another season. Couldn't be more pumped up, couldn't be more fired up, ready to go. The Brockton Boxers had a fantastic season last year. Very young team, but caught on strong the last half of the season. Finished strong with a playoff victory. And uh, the momentum hopefully will continue this season. But I'm really excited about the Brockton Boxers. Had a great time, uh, you know, with, with, with the uh, learning about the team, learning about the coaches. And um, I'm excited about the season. I really am. Excellent, excellent day. Not a cloud in the sky. 82 degrees, six miles an hour wind southwest, if you will. Everything's perfect, the first day of school. Today's been a good day. It'll be a great night if the Broughton Boxers get a victory. Boxers control. Good crowd here today in Marciano Stadium. Like I mentioned, the first day of school. So it was all fired up. See a lot of first year school outfits. Good to see. BCA will be with you guys throughout the season. Boys and girls soccer. The boxers down to 40. Dartmouth Indians, who's a pretty strong team throughout the season. Had a strong team last year. Got a good program. They got a good program over there. Once again, we're at Marciano Stadium on Colombo Field by the Harry, Harry Allen track. How many names can you name? <laughs> How many names can be in one stadium? Here we go. Boxers have a breakaway. Looked across. Couldn't find anybody. Nice pass right there. Stopped by the Indians. Down towards midfield. Saves him for going out of bounds. That's a handball. Boxers with a free kick right here. A lot of special guests we're going to have here today. Rumor is Yasmina Carvalho will join me at the 20-minute mark. That's what she promised me, so hopefully that happens or I look like a complete idiot. <laughs> I'll be here all week, guys. I'll be here all week. I'll laugh at my own jokes, too. <laughs> if you guys notice, Aaron Tebow, award-winning cinematographer, is around getting um, shots of the Brockton boxers, behind-the-scenes shots. to work on our new One North Main and Boxer opening. So a lot of exciting stuff going on here in the field. Going on here in the field. In trouble, looks to cross. So Boxers have a, a few returners here. Good mix of seniors and juniors. Five sophomores, excuse me, I apologize. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven sophomores. So boxes lost a lot of players last year, but um, a good number of seniors and, and juniors returning. That's cross. Saved by the Indians. Back out to Narita. One of the highlights of the brought the boxer season I thought last year was um well how how strong they finished the season 
and going into New Bedford, excuse me, Durfee, I apologize, going into Durfee and beating a tough Durfee team in Durfee during the playoffs. Eventually, the Brockton Boxers got eliminated the following round, but nevertheless, strong effort by this team. Head coach for the Brockton Boxers is Andrea Tossaniri. Throwing right here for the boxes. We're excited to tell you guys next week we'll be rolling out the BCA mobile truck. Our three camera production, our award winning three camera production will be out next week. As we were just trying to, you know, get the cobwebs for the first two games, but uh, next week we'll be rocking and rolling with our full crew, ready to go. And I'm excited about that, to be quite frank with you. And just right here in the box of zone. Oh, wow, right above the crossbar. Right above the crossbar. Close play right there, but close but no cigar. Again, tons of phone calls on my cell phone. People need to realize I'm on a BCA live shoot, and I will not answer that phone call for the umpteenth time. I'm, I'm this close to calling out that person. Goes out of bounds, so it'll be a throw in for the boxers. Thirty-two minutes in the first half. Eight minutes have gone by. Score ten at zero. Once again, New Bretto bringing all the action. BCA Sports is in the house. Back again. Always curious to see how you know team plays the first you know two three games. See the type of chemistry they have, you know, get used to uh, tendencies of different teammates and so forth. So I would expect a high scoring game here today. <laughs> nice play right there. Good save by the keeper. Strong kick down by the 20. Lost celebrities in the house here. In Rocky Marciano Stadium, looking across the uh, the crowd here, big time superstars such as 
Peter Caruso, Aaron Tebow, Matthew Nelson, starstruck crowd here at Marciano Stadium. As I mentioned before, BC will be there for all three uh, fall sports, so boys and girls soccer as well as football. So tune in to Channel 98. Every day there will be a game on. Dangerous play right here. Shot! Wide right. What's going on, boss? Crowd's pump me up over here, fire me up, you know, ready to go. Give me a lot of, give me a lot of steam right here. Again, star struck crowd here in Marciano Stadium. Just superstars left and right. Shot. Weak dribbler. Nice save by the keeper. Oh, nice pass right there. Fox is looking to attack the zone. It's Montron looking across. Got a few substitutions here in a little bit. Nicole Fernandez will come to the game along with Amanda Almeida, both sophomores. Montron kicks it out of bounds. We have last touch on the Indians, though. Boxes will retrieve possession. Substitutions here are Mita and Fernandez coming to the game. Number two and number 11 take the seat. That's Yasmina Texera and Morel Marion. right there. Good clear up by the boxes. Excellent play. Uh-oh, here we go. Caruso just called for an offside. Oh, come on. Come on, let them play. Let them play. Let them play. So we a free kick right here for the Indians. Score tied at zero with 26 minutes left. In the first half. Boxers have something right here if they push it. Uh, there's no score yet. So, 
Looking across. Out of bounds. There'll be a throw in right here. Nice push right there by number seven. Mariah Texera, the junior. Amita will throw in the ball. Oh, wow, she did a flip. That's amazing. I haven't seen that in a while. She did a flip to throw in the soccer ball. That will be a corner kick. For the boxers, first corner kick of the game. Montron will send it in. Out of bounds. Boxers will have a throw in pretty good position right here. Ball goes out of bounds. Ball goes right to the keeper. Both teams scoreless. Just about halfway through the first half. 23 minutes left. All tied at zero. Good to be back here for another fall season. I'll tell you what, I'm waiting to get, the, <laughs> get to get out the office for a little bit, which is nice. Um, but more importantly, just uh, you've seen so many great athletes right here in your backyard. Both teams, I think, are having a little trouble with their spacing. No one really getting offensive rhythm. Boxers have had a few opportunities. Had a corner kick and a few decent scoring opportunities. But nothing really consistent. Boxers will have the ball. Substitutions right here, number five. And number 18 coming to the game for the boxers. Number five, that's uh, Michaela Norman. And number 18, it's Maya Powers. No relation to Austin Powers.
So we're at the 20 minute mark, so it's time for the newbie trivia question of the year, of the game, excuse me. Trivia question is, how many, since football season is coming up this Sunday, how many Super Bowls have the New England Patriots appeared in in the post-Super Bowl era? So the question is, and I repeat it again to all the viewers who are on the edge of their seats. How many Super Bowls have the New England Patriots appeared in during the Super Bowl era? The answer to this question will be answered in the second half. So one last time. Football season is upon us. How many Super Bowls have the New England Patriots appeared in? Winner of this will receive a prize. A signed copy of the award winning film, Step Up. So the next time you see me, just come up to me and I will give you an autographed copy, free of charge copy of Step Up on the house. Wow. Here we go. It's Caruso. A little push off right there. So the Indians will get a free kick. Oh, wow. Dangerous right there. Looks like our special guest Yasmina Carvalho will not be joining us as she had a had a pride commitment. We'll, re, we'll reschedule that interview for our next game. Promptly. <laughs> I'll, be, I'll be here all week. <laughs> we'll reschedule that interview next week. Possible breakaway right here. Ball goes out of bounds. 
15 minutes left in the first half. All tied at zero. Here's Narita looking to push the ball. Strong kick right there. Good save by the keeper. Score zero zero. Free kick right here. Shot. Indians draw first blood. Dartmouth goal by Nicole Gidley. According to the newbie research team, Nicole Gidley with the score. Breaking news. You heard it from me first. BCA has all the action, all the news. First, is Caruso. Now to Narita. Nice clear out. Almost a handball right there. Just about 10 minutes left in the first half. Indians with the one to nothing lead. Scored on a free kick.
Corner kick right here for the Indians. Oh, wow. Right over the net. Good try right there. Football season this week, and New England Patriots start off. Very excited about that. Actually, football season starts Thursday. Matter of fact, when this game airs, probably it's competing during that Thursday night game. If that's an offside, I don't know what is. Dear Lord. It's Caruso. Scratching, clawing. Shot! Oh, wow! Just off the crossbar and over the net. That was the left cross. Corner kick for the Brockton Boxes. Go to score scoring opportunity. Look to tie up this game before halftime. Just under nine minutes left in the first half. Uh-oh. Shot. A goal. I could have sworn it was a goal. I thought it was two goals for crying out loud. Okay. I got a little too excited here. How's that not a goal? Ref, come on, you're killing me here. That's hogwash. That's hogwash. It's boulder dash. According to my sources, special guest Yasmina Carvalho will be joining us pretty soon. According to my sources, Yasmina Carvalho will be joining us pretty soon on air. I was about to reschedule again. Breaking news. Ball goes out of bounds. Breaking news, we have former, <laughs> she, she only has two minutes. She's a very busy person, she only has two minutes. <laughs> Yasmina, what's up? Now, you, now, if I'm not mistaken, you are now coaching for UMass Boston, right? Correct. Talk about, um, talk about what do you see going on in this game right now? One to nothing. What do the boxes need to do to kind of tie up this game? Um, right now, I mean, I think they're playing pretty well. They've pretty much dominated the whole game possession-wise. Mm -hmm. um, Dartmouth hasn't had a bunch of chances up top. As you can see, every time they try to start something, they don't really get past half. But boxers have had some great possession, moving the ball around with no problem. Um, but obviously, Dartmouth just capitalized on their... Uh, on their restart, which is definitely key, and put them up uh, one nothing. So Brockton just needs to keep doing what they're doing, break down the defense, keep moving the ball around, and they'll find a goal at some point. They just got to hold on. 
Those are expert analysis from Yasmina Carvalho. Actually, I was thinking the same thing. I was actually saying oh, really? the, same, the same thing throughout the whole game. So yeah. <laughs> looks like we're on the same page over here. Listen, you've got your <laughs> soccer IQ real up this well, time, huh? Yeah, well, I've, I've learned from the best. There you go. <laughs> But um, awesome. So I mean, for the for the uh, viewers who don't know who you are, just kind of talk about um, your career. I mean, a former uh, Brockton boxer player, and you played college um, college soccer, if I'm not mistaken. Yep, I played over at um, Bridgewater State um, College. It's now the university, but I played there for four years. And obviously, you know, you were there. You interviewed me a couple I was of there? times. You were there. Oh wow! Okay. You were there. This wasn't just a coincidence. You came on set, and I no, didn't know you no, before. No, no, no. You're oh, there. <laughs> right. we're supposed to play that on TV. Uh, yes. <laughs> so I played there for about four years, and then um, after I left there, I started getting into club coaching and spent the last two seasons over at Stonehill, and now I'm at UMass Boston helping out there. So Awesome, a awesome. Bit, a little bit of everything. Awesome. Well, I remember announcing your games at Brockton High School. Mm -hmm. um, you and, and Jackie Wysocki called you guys the, the Scotty and Pippen of – of, of soccer. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Scotty Pippen, Jordan and Pippen of, of soccer. Yeah. You guys both had excellent careers. Thank you. So I wish you the best and wish you the best over coaching over at um, UMass Boston. Thank you so much. Thanks for having me. I appreciate it. No problem. As Yasmina gives me the thumbs up for being on air. So 3.40 left in the first half. As Yasmin said, Brockton Boxers have had the opportunity to score. Just, um, you know, a few things not going their way. And, and that's really the game of soccer, you know. It's a game of inches. Nice cross. So two minutes left in the in the first half. Boxers down by goal, one to nothing. I'm Nubra at toe once again, bringing you all the action. Joined with the award-winning cinematographer Aaron Tebow, Matthew Nelson. Boxers have something here. If they push it, they have something. Nice aggressive play by the goalie for the Dartmouth Indians. I'm 
Shot. Saved by the keeper. Oh, what a save. Halftime right there. Brockton Box is very tough. Tough first half, you know. Uh, definitely had their scoring opportunities, but nothing to show for it. So the score after the first half, Dartmouth Indians won. Your Brockton Box is zero. We'll see you in the second half. Every day, kids witness bullying. Why are you stabbing me with it? No, they want to help, Ow. but don't know how. Oh, you Teach your kids how to be more than a bystander. Visit stopbullying.gov. Welcome back to Marciano Stadium. I'm New Brad Toe in the house. Brockton Boxers versus the Dartmouth Indians. Second half, the Brockton Boxers are down one to nothing. Ample scoring opportunities for the Brockton Boxers. Couldn't quite get a goal, but that's why they play the games. 40 more minutes. You see the brought the bus can tie this up and take the lead and take this one home. The Dartmouth Indians scored on a free kick about the 12 minute mark. And they start off with a throw in right here in the box's own. Pretty much is a nice shade all over the field, so both teams will have a chance to see without the sun being in the way. Play right there, nice aggressive save by the keeper once again. Good job by the by the by the keeper for the Indians. Jen Wheaton, and she's only a sophomore. Oh, 
That's the thing is some of these girls are just, I mean, look at April. My mom thinks it's the funniest thing, like Andy and April. <laughs> yeah. 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 Dangerous right here. Yes. Yes, it is. And that is a goal. A goal for the Dartmouth Indians. And they're up two to nothing. Start with goal by Nicole Stemus. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, I know real fast if I said the wrong name. Or if I really butchered the pronunciation. Yeah. Oh, I did a playoff game here once, and uh, the team that came in was Ruth Marshfield. And I could have sworn. I looked up on the internet. Hello, what is it? I have to look for it too. Um, and I don't know what it was that I thought there were. I announced something. I don't know what it was. And we all looked up and were like, <laughs> Free kick right here for the boxers. Sorry. So boxing in a bit of a hole right now, down two to nothing. Is Montron in trouble? Clears the ball. Out of bounds, though. Nice cross, saved by the keeper.
less publicity than talking about. Because, first of all, the I'll tell you the first time that I did a phrase, I just couldn't believe how much faster, how much you know, in your face it was. When it was So the answer to the trivia question, the newbie trivia question, annual trivia question of, of the game, and I'll remind you guys, the question was, how many Super Bowl appearances have the New England Patriots um, appeared in during the Super Bowl era? And the answer to that question is, <laughs> Waiting for the newbie research team to give me the information. Give them a few seconds. The answer to that is seven. They've appeared in seven. They lost to the Chicago Bears in 86. Lost to the Green Bay Packers in 97. They won against the Rams in 2001, the Carolina Panthers in 03. Free kick right here, I save. Indians clear it out, boxes take it back. Strong kick, wide right, golden opportunity right there. So, went against the Eagles in 2004, lost against the Giants in 07, and the Giants again in 2011. So, seven Super Bowls. They have unfortunately lost four, but they've been in seven. Just spot another celebrity. Ward One City Council Tim Cruz is in the house. Celebrities left and right here at Marciano Stadium. It's incredible. Shot! Right above the net. So, 27 minutes left in the game. Boxers down two to nothing.
Time up right here. 25 minutes left in the game. Time up by the Broughton Boxes. Five, 25 19 left in the game. Two to nothing, Brockton boxes down. One goal scored in the first half by the Indians in the second half, around the 36 minute mark. Another goal scored. Twenty-four minutes left in the game. Box is in a hole right now. They gotta get something started. But again, you know, this is good first game. You know, you want to get the cobwebs out and kind of see what type of team you're dealing with. Brought the box is definitely you know, gonna be a, a feisty, fast team. Shot saved by the keeper.
Box is really having a tough time right now getting any type of offensive opportunity. I mean, credit the Indians' defense. Oh, they got something right here. Another save right there. Tell you what, this this goalkeeper, she's incredible. Absolutely incredible. <laughs> Looking for the cross. This keeper is definitely uh, getting her workloads worth today. Give her the day off tomorrow. So good day. I just want to wish um, you know, Brockton has a strong Jewish community, including our general manager Mark Lindy and even our camera person Matt Nelson a happy Rosh Hashanah. And Young Kapoor is next week, if I'm not mistaken. So. Uh, you know, just uh, wish a happy holidays to the Jewish community out there in Brockton. Just under 20 minutes left in the game. Boxers in a hole right now, down two to nothing. Offsides right there on the Indians. Box will have a free kick. Breakaway right here. Taken down. I'm Box is one of the car right there. The thing is sometimes they do just trip each other. It's not intentional. It's just the ball is not going to be So you kind of have to let them play. If you're right there and you see there's no intent to trip, it's just too close to play. Yeah. Yeah. 
Jen Cruz was so fast off the ball, always dangerous on a breakaway. Ross. Fifty minutes left in the game, box is down two to zero. Boxes, you know, had the opportunities, especially in the first half, to really score. Just couldn't quite convert. Boxes up the cross, what a move! Shot! Oh, what a save by the keeper! She's incredible! Cool, calm, controlled, calculated, confidence! Wow! She's not letting anything get by her. I mean nothing. Uh-oh, this is trouble.
score two to nothing, 12 minutes left in the game, box is down. First game of the season, first day of school, first BCA fall production. It's their first. Shot! Oh, no goal! Oh, for the love of God! Give me a break! Crowd getting all fired up because of that flip. Here we go, screen opportunity right here! Oh, wide left. Boxer have had an ample opportunity this game. I'll tell you what, ample, ample opportunity. Just um, great, you know, uh, goal keeping by, by the Indians and just a few, you know, inches, you know, to the right or left. Boxers have, you know, would be right in this game. Unbelievable, unbelievable. It's good! It's all good! Unfortunately, a field goal does not count in soccer. 7.50 left in the game. Boxers. Boxers down by two goals. I oh, just want to thank our staff for doing a fantastic job today. Aaron Tebow, Matt Nelson. We'll be having a full van production starting off next week. Very excited about that.
Uh oh, good opportunity right here. Here we go. Oh, what a great move right there by the Indians. Putting it out of bounds. I gotta tell you what, this is a solid team right here. Very solid team, very fundamentally sound. Give credit to Dartmouth, just playing tough, tough soccer. Nice clear right there by the Indians. Just under four minutes left in the game, Box is down 2 nothing. First game of the season against the Dartmouth Indians. Once again, this is Brockton Community Access, Channel 98. I'm Lou Barretto. Just under two minutes left, time officially kept on the field. Boxes will go down to 0 and 1, but um, a lot of good things I'm seeing so far. Brock the Box definitely had a hit on scoring opportunities, so they have the ability to score. Um, they really met a really fantastic goalkeeper who had it, you know, just quite frankly, just had an outstanding day. Um, you know, Darby, the very tough team, Brockton Boxes were right there with them. So um, you can take a lot of positives on this game. And brought the boss they play like this and you know, you know work on a few little things like spacing and so forth and maybe take advantage of a few opportunities. They're gonna be a very dangerous team this season. Shot saved by the keeper. Dangerous right there. Box need to clear it out. Don't want to do any more damage.
ball game, checkmate point match. Brought them boxers two, excuse me, brought them boxers zero. Darvin Indians two. You no know, tough battle here, but it brought the boxers come a little short. So they'll start the season 0 and 1. But this is just a stepping stone to what the brought the boxers um, could do. They played a fantastic game in terms of effort. It was there, just um, came a little short. That'll do it for today's game. I'm Nubu Red Toe. We'll see you at the finish line.